Hey there. I had the privilege of listening to a wonderful presentation yesterday. And one of the statements the presenter made just really stuck with me. What this person said was, if you can feel at home in your own body, you can feel at home anywhere. And she talked about self-awareness of your body, the sensations, being mindful of your breath. This was a, a Buddhist woman speaking, by the way. I, I'm a devout Buddhist. And there was a lot of being present and being aware. And it made me think about all of these ways that we look for safety outside of ourselves. You know, the safe place, the safe person. And those are important, don't get me wrong. But one of the things that we tend to miss, especially in our society, is to look within first. Because we're so subject to shiny object syndrome, you know, the new app, the latest movie, the latest release, the latest fashion trends, when where we really need to start is by being grounded in our own bodies. And being able to stay centered and present in the midst of chaos is probably one of the hardest things to learn but it's also one of the most powerful. And one way we can do this in an ongoing basis to learn to be much more at home in our own bodies is a step that we tend to forget when it comes to stressful situations. Something will upset us, we'll be emotional, angry, sad, whatever, and we'll find some comfort, some relief, we'll calm down and we'll say, okay, I feel better. All right, I'm over it now, I'm good, I'm good. And maybe psychologically, you moved on somewhat, but you haven't done anything with your body. You may still have tension somewhere. In fact, you probably do. Emotionally speaking, you may still have some tension in your, your heart area, your gut. You may have some tension in your neck or in your legs or in your low back that you're ignoring because you're simply not aware of it. And there are things like doing a body scan where you focus on your muscles one at a time from top to bottom and relax them all. And you can do some stretches, some yoga, anything to lighten those things up. But there's one thing that I suggest you add that can make a big difference in this process. And that is when you put your mind into these muscles to relax them, Take a moment to say to yourself, it's safe to relax now. It's safe to let go. Whatever happened is over. It's in the past. That thing that upset us, that thing that made us angry, it's gone. We're safe now. Because one of the things that we tend to do whenever we're threatened is to bounce back and forth between the past and the present. We may feel better, but we'll keep going back and say, man, that was su that sucked. Man, I wish that hadn't happened. That was so terrible. Wow, man, I can't believe that. So as you're trying to calm down and move forward, you still keep bringing it up. And in doing so, you keep upsetting the apple cart and doing that unnecessarily. And what you really want to do is stay grounded in the present, keep yourself calm, so that you can then move forward from that calm place. So when you emphasize not only the fact that you're in the present, but that you're safe in the present, that you're moving forward feeling safe, knowing you're safe, it makes a huge difference in terms of what you believe is possible for you, what kind of risks you see as being worth taking or a possible taking. Safety is a big deal when it comes to the world we believe that we live in. And to a degree, we can look for safety outside of ourselves, but we are more likely to find safety within us than we are to find it outside of ourselves. So that's just a little pearl I wanted to share with you. Hopefully it's useful. Feel free to leave me a comment or ask me a question. I would love to explore this idea further with you. And until we talk again, thanks for being you.